Aloha! This is the Green Lightning Mr. T, and welcome to my gold medal guide for Triumph of the Empire. These Empire side missions are pretty bad. In addition to all the requirements being quite hefty and able to fail you the mission, minus targeting efficiency, that's not a thing. Um. It's going to be a bit of luck of the draw, since so many elements are out of your control, and you're already relying heavily on cluster missiles, and while they're freaking amazing and they kill things so easily, you don't really do much to control them other than just point and shoot and hope they do what you want. I can give you the advice that for Y-Wings, they'll probably take two sets of cluster missiles to take out. Um... For X-Wings, just use as needed. Hopefully it's you only need to use one. And try to keep having to shoot enemies down with your laser fire to a minimum to keep that accuracy high because it's... It, everything is very high. If the time is high, or, well, time is low. The enemies are high, the accuracy is high, the friendlies loss is super low, even though you don't really have control of how many turrets get shot. Um... You can't die any, any times. It's just awful. Um, any time that the enemy ships are bobbing up down in front of you, don't bother shooting them. Wait until they stop bobbing up down and then shoot them. You really got to be concerned about your accuracy for the trench part. As soon as you take them out, immediately turn around. You'll have a huge squ just salvo swarm. Swarm's a word of enemies behind you, fire a couple of cluster missiles and hope they hit their marks. Again, once X-Wings will generally be one and Y-Wings will be two. If you can help it, get them down to like two enemies just flying around. But once you're out of cluster missiles, like if you have to make judgment calls on whether you think you have enough enemies. I don't know where some of the enemy kills go, but it feels like you don't always get all the enemy kills in the first section. I don't really understand. Keep your eye on the radar for when um, the enemies are coming down the trench. You definitely don't want them to let them slip by you. Because, the, well, then time is going to be a real issue. Because the more you slip up on the first set, the, set, the longer the wait for the second set will be. And then the longer the wait for the third set will be, which will eat into your time. Here I managed to take... This was just a super lucky run where everything just worked together. So even... They never even got to the bouncy section of the trench. So I was able to get everything nice. But again, you don't have control over whether the turrets get shot. So, like, I had a perfectly good run just before this that got ruined because an extra turret got shot. You just, it's luck of the draw. I can't say anything much more than that. I give you the best advice I could give. I hope it'll help you get through this mission. This has been the Green Lang, Mr. T. I hope this was a good guide video for you. And to you I say, aloha.